Hi there, Lloyd Macedo. Speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com, who's Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding. I just wanted to give you my thoughts with regards to Kevin Hart, uh, who's a comedian. He steps down as a 2019 Oscars host after refusing to apologize for these homophobic tweets, joking about fags and AIDS, and a stand-up script saying that his biggest fear was his son growing up gay. Okay. Now, you know, personally speaking, personally speaking, I feel a comedian is a comedian. He jokes. He says things which are funny. There are a lot of things he may say which might offend people. He can joke about Jesus Christ, the prophet M, or he can joke about Indian gods, uh, LGBT, your ass, my ass, your penis, my vagina, whatever. So they can joke about anything and you need to take it with a pinch of salt. Now, what I don't seem to understand is someone jokes, shares his opinion, or say something offensive, which maybe you'll find offensive. What is the big deal? Now, for example, my face. Not many people like my face. Many people think they keep asking me, who shat on your face? You know, what is that shit on your face? Um, some people even say, if I had a son like you, I would kill him myself. Some people say, oh my goodness, uh, your wife must be wondering, uh, what is she fucking a zebra? Some people say, what are you, a mixture between a hippopotamus and a zebra? Some people say that, um, uh, oh, Spider-Man. So I don't seem to mind it because this is someone's opinion. You can say whatever the fuck you want. So why is it, why is it that today we live in a day and age where even a Christmas song is, oh, this is, uh, you know, sexist language. In fact, uh, we had uh, vegans say that uh, using, the, uh, using the term bring home the bacon is, uh, you know, attacking uh, supporting killing animals. So instead of bring home the bacon, bring home the uh, what beans or something like that. Um, I I don't understand what's gone wrong with people. Uh, wait, let me give you the exact bring home the bacon uh, controversy. Okay. Uh, so apparently the phrases which they want to change. I'll give you the phrases which are these people. Um, so instead of bring home the bacon, you should say bring home the beagles. Instead of saying killing two birds with one stone, one stone you should say feeding two birds with one scone. So if, instead of saying flog a dead horse, it's feed a fed horse. Instead of hold your horses, it's hold the phone. Instead of saying let the cat out of the bag, you should say spill the beans. Instead of saying all eggs in one basket, it's all berries in one bowl. Instead of saying open the can of worms, Say, open Pandora's box. Instead of saying, be a guinea pig, it's like be a test tube. Taking the bull by the horns, you should say, taking a flower by the thorns. And more than one way to skin a cat, it's more than one way to peel a potato. So apparently, if you say these, Peter is very happy. Yay! Yay! And uh, then you have the controversy with regards to, let me check on Facebook, because this is what I found on uh, Facebook with my friend. Um, it seems that you need to use a language which is apparently politically right. So instead of saying, woo, man, it's not right because you're, you're giving importance to a man, female, so you're giving importance to a male. Uh, human, it's H-U-M-A-N, there's a man in that, person, it's son, where is the daughter? So I'll put the link whereby um, a linguist has apparently broken this down and given the exact meaning from where words like person, human, female, woman, and she came into being. And I would highly recommend you check the link below. So the point I'm trying to make here is I think we live in a day and age where everyone's a fucking snowflake. You get sensitive for every small little thing. Oh, he hurt my feelings. He said a homophobic phrase. And by the way, Kevin Hart had used these jokes in the year 2009 when he said that I saw a nigger put a whole chicken wing in his mouth and pull it out with no meat. Uh, God, God damn, that was gay. So in 2009, he said that. And because he said that, so he's homophobic. Oh, my goodness. So in 2011, he said, yo, my son comes home and tries to play with two of my daughter's dolls. I'm going to break it over his head and say in my voice, stop that gay. So what I don't seem to understand is he said it in 2000, whatever. Why the fuck are you digging it out now and making an issue out of it? And the only reason you do that is because you just don't want to give him a contract or you don't want him to 
have his moment of glory. Agreed, he's not a perfect guy. He had an affair with another female while being married. Uh, but then again, who's perfect? So here's what I'm trying to tell you. I think we need to grow the fuck up. Okay? Stop being sensitive. Oh, he called me gay. He called me... To, mommy, mommy, call me a monkey. So if if you're African and someone calls you monkey, if you're Indian and say, uh, Indian and someone says Uga Booga, if um, you're, uh, you know, American and someone says, you know, um, white trash or whatever. Why the fuck are you guys sensitive, man? Grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. It's just name calling. Let them fucking name call. People call me names. Do you think I... Uh, <laughs> going to sue them for one million in damages. <laughs> I think people need to grow the fuck up. We need to have thicker skins. We need to have strength of character. I mean, to say, that's your joke. You find this funny. Whatever the fuck you want to say. Fuck it. You know? So, these are my views. Let me know what the fuck... I mean... Even if you say something about Jews or Muslims or, you know, it's, it's like you can talk something about Christianity and uh, Jesus Christ. But if you talk about Muhammad or Allah, someone will take a boom blast and blast you or cut you or shoot you. This is double standards. I, I, I seriously think people need to grow the fuck up. Okay. We need to give people the right to say whatever the fuck they want. If you feel bad, your problem. If you feel uh, sad, it's your problem. Yes, people can use and uh, promulgate hate but that is where the process of having a dialogue comes in that is where having a debate comes in that is where discussion comes in if you start making these rules that uh, you have to call a he she z x and you know all these terms or oh, you're not allowed to say this you're not allowed to say that i think we'll become a society where everyone's trying to be fake everyone's trying to be who they are not and um, you know it's it's just going to go downhill from there so these are my views. Let me know what do you think. Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? I'd love to hear your views. Put down, put them in the comment section down below. If you like the video, thumbs up. Don't like it, thumbs down. This is me signing off for now. Take care.